Absolutely. Now, they do have it where they have semis. You can go get a semi, you know, a semi truck only, and, you know, uh, FedEx will allow you to use their trailers. I don't remember if they're charging you any domicile for that, but, uh, yeah, you can go get a big rig and hook up to one of their 53-foot uh, uh, refrigerated trailers, and you might haul anything from... If you get with the DOD, the Department of Defense, you might haul some stuff for them. You can haul artwork. You can haul, and they they haul a lot of uh, pharmaceuticals. You know. Yeah, them, and, pharma, them pharmaceutical runs ain't no joke, man. They 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 like strictly strictly security on that shit. I I went. Uh, oh yeah. When I was with uh, when I was with Wooster Motorways, one of the we we had a couple of loads. Uh, that we did was pharmaceuticals. Uh, one of them was with uh, McKinzen. I can't I can't pronounce that name, but it's McKinzen. You know they they in the pharmaceutical field. And when I went to uh, do a pickup for a pharmaceutical, it was like going into a black ops site, man. I mean it's you know it was like in the middle of nowhere with nowhere and all like that. Then we had to go in. We had to leave our phones. We had to we had to turn our phones off. We had to turn off our uh, our our dash cameras and shit like that. Uh, we couldn't be inside the truck while they was while they was loading us. And then when they got finished loading us, they had they had me to sign all sorts of buku uh, paperwork, man. They had me sign amenity signature, uh, uh, secret signature. They made me sign the, the the GPS that they had in the back of the truck. They told me I had to make a phone call every like every three hours, and they told me like if I had to stop somewhere. Or no, the first no 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 the first three hours they didn't want me to stop at all. Like you know they they made they told us or they told you know I got the information when it came across. It says uh, make sure you have you know make sure you fuel the truck all up. Make sure you sweep it out and all like that because the first three hours they they uh, they mandate that we drive the first three hours before we stop, man. So pharmaceuticals ain't no joke. Yeah, pharmaceuticals, electronics, cigarettes. You had a different one where they don't want you stopping too quick in case somebody following you. Mm -hmm. Now, fortunately, I haven't had a cigarette run. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. I, you know what? Electronics, yeah, like. Like what I'm on right now, you know, it's not, you know, I I did a lot. We, you know, the the, the company that I drive for is LTL, and we we do a lot of shit. I mean, you know, we we haul, we we fucking haul everything. We we fucking haul from motherfucking pipes that goes into the fucking ground to motherfucking what was that one thing? I I had to, I had to go to a park. Uh, had like a whole fucking swing set or whatever the fuck that is, man. Oh wow! I mean, we, I mean, <laughs> we, we, we fucking haul like every er, everything, dude. So I, I wouldn't be surprised that you know that a pharma another pharmaceutical run or an electronics run is in my future with this company, man. But so far, you know, we tow trucks. Uh, I guess we got these. I'm 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 pulling riding mowers now. Like we got, I got like three. Stops. Oh, you got those zero turns. Yeah, though I got those zero turn mo uh, mowers uh, that's going to these stores and shit. I got you know three stops. I got two in Ohio and I got one in PA, and I think it's like two of each back there or whatever. But um, but yeah, man, we shit, we 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 pulling everything, man. Um. All right, Lawrence, man. So, coming, you know, you know, I know we we stayed on, you know, stayed on, and we off topic, and we about to jump right back on topic. But I, what I want to know is, uh, I mean, you you did you was bus driving, uh, in L.A. Um, for eleven years. I'm going to assume you you bounced out of that because you moved back to Houston or moved back to Texas, right? Right. 
Why you why you didn't pick up why you didn't pick up from where you left off in Texas? Oh, you mean like yeah. driving a city bus? Yeah. I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought about doing it because uh my wife did it for a while mm -hmm. and she was like, You used to come up and it was pride. I, I that that too, because with them you start off with these little like shuttle vans and the money was like booty, you know? Right. It's like, and it's like, I didn't want to have to do that. It's like, man, I done drove all this stuff, and then I got to drive a courtesy van? Really? <laughs> so so you decided to uh, you, you decided to just go ahead and upgrade your license to a Class A, and you just been Class A ever since. Yeah. I uh, Even though one time I did go and I drove, uh, it only required a Class B. Mm -hmm. And that was a, a ready mix truck. Okay, okay, one of them cement trucks, right? Yeah, yep. Okay, okay. That, that was that was fun. That, that was that was a cool little job. I like that job. All right. So now you down in Texas. You 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 got your class A. Uh, why why you did did you do oil field work down there because everybody's saying when you go down to Texas the money is in the oil fields is that true right you know I, I've I had a buddy of mine one of my Navy buddies he was out in the oil field and I know lots of people but it's like that that industry fluctuates a lot it's like when it's good it's great mm -hmm. but when it's not it's not mm -hmm. and I I thought about it a couple of times matter of fact my my boy was gonna try to get me on with him and then i just was like they never did really call back so i was like well hey maybe it just wasn't for me is it is it true uh in the oil fields that i mean you 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 do a lot of traveling through through backwoods and and and, and, and well yeah because you're in these remote you know you can be in these remote locations that don't necessarily have addresses, so GPS is like pointless. And uh, yeah, wow. Sometimes you don't go, to, you don't drive that far, but you're constantly going back and forth. Whether you're dealing with the water, or you know, the you're dealing with the uh, the fracking sand and all that kind of stuff. So, so is, is it is it true that you know that they say that they run illegal down there? Is is have you heard of that? Now, I don't think you have to because usually they're doing less than 150 uh, air miles, so they they're kind of on a different. I think they're kind of on a different uh, uh, logging scale than than we are. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, would you suggest? You know, would would it be in fluctuating and everything? But uh, would you suggest people uh, to at least try it if if they down in Texas? Sure. I mean, you know, it's kind of hard if you have family, you know. I think it's great for a single person that don't have no obligations to another human being, mm -hmm. children, spouses, so forth like that, sick parents, whatever. Uh, if you don't have nothing to do, you know, basically an orphan to go out there, they can be out there all the time. It don't matter. So, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, Lawrence, man, uh, you know, you 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 sent me a company uh, to call, uh, which I did, and and thank you for the uh, thank you for the coffee. I uh, appreciate it. You know, all, always need that, always need that good pick me up when I be talking to these uh, to these companies out here. But uh, you yes, came you, you you came back and you you got with a you know you got with a new company. I. Uh, you, you and your wife was teaming at one point, wasn't y'all? Right. Yes. Uh, why, why did you get with the co current company that you're at? And why did you and your wife stop teaming? Uh, she, you know what? She kind of got tired of the road. Okay. Yeah. She, she got tired of the road. Uh, she really didn't care for, uh, the truck moving a lot. Mm. While she tried to sleep, because everybody can't sleep in the truck. Me, you know, when I get in there, I'm a log. I, I don't care. Right. As long as the person is safe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I trained her. So I know what she's, what she'll do, what she won't do. Mm -hmm. And she also had come from a, 
a commercial background driving anyway. So she already had that aptitude. So it was easy because when that, that first week drove with her a couple of hours and a, you know something, she said, what? I said, uh, I'm going to sleep next week. Because, you know, that first week I had, I had to stay up with her. I was like, yeah, she's a great driver. Um, she just don't like doing it while the, while the vehicle is moving. The present company that I'm with, I actually, believe it or not, I found that company on Facebook. There it is. There it is, man. I mean, a lot. Of, I mean, it, it is what it is, man, because, you know, this is the new millennial. You know, this is this is 2020, 2000s. Uh, a lot of trucking companies, you know, are not doing the condition. I mean, the traditional ways of looking for drivers now. They, you know, they're not leaving their pamphlet in the truck stops and and stuff like that. And I mean, you know, no, they're they, leaving it. They're leaving it on everybody's electronic device. Exactly. You know, they're doing it through Facebook. They're doing it through TikTok. They they doing it through through all social medias that they can get their that they can get their companies in front of all these potential drivers, man. So, so what's the name? Uh, what's the name of this company, and what you want to know, and what you want the people to know about it? Uh, the company I'm uh, working with right now is uh, Pitney Bowes. They are not a trucking company. They are a pre-sort mail company with a uh, logistics department. You know, it's like when I used to work for Tyson. Mm -hmm. They always would say, you know, we're not a trucking company. We're a protein provider with a logistic department, and that's basically what this is. Okay. So Pitney Bowles, just, they, they, they just like just letter carriers like mail and and all like that. That's it. Yeah, they pre-sort mail. Their operation is sort of similar to uh, Amazon. Matter of fact, we work with Amazon, okay. and you know we carry we carry some of their loads, and uh, you know right now nationwide in in select locations we have uh, positions for local, regional, and uh, team OTR. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, what what what's the orient what what is it like coming in uh through the orientation um and and the uh, pre screen drug testing because that's a you know pre screening drug testing is is a is another hot topic that's coming up in these uh, Facebook groups now because you got a whole bunch of you got a whole bunch of weed smokers out here that's just now you know figuring that the trucking industry is where they want to be and now they you know they. They they stop smoking, but they want to look for companies that's not doing uh you know that's not doing hair follicle tests because they they know that they feel that they might flunk it. So what's the what's the orientation and the onboarding with uh Pitney Bowles? Man, I tell you what, right off the bat, and this is not paid for. This is me saying this. This is the probably the best trucking job I've had in the eleven years that I've been in trucking. Now, the onboarding process, it, mine was a little long. I had some special circumstances. I didn't have anything to do with anybody else but me. Mm -hmm. But um, it was great. And the guy that you talk to, his name is Steve, Steve Nichols. Mm -hmm. He's great. He does everything he can to try to make it a, a, a very fluid transition. You know, he'll, he keeps in contact. He lets you know what's going on and uh, through the whole process. And uh, uh, my manager, Mr. Uh, Alberto Ruiz, mm -hmm. he's great. You know, he keeps on top of everything, and I'm, and and they are really getting their money's worth with him because he he's responsible for so much stuff. You know, but the onboarding and the and the the test, because obviously this test took place during the pandemic, because right. the pandemic was getting hot and heavy. When I started, because I started in February of this year, and you know March, that's when all this crap came along. Right. You know, well, this year, should I say? All right. So, uh, so you came in transition. You 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 came in through the pandemic. So what was uh, so what was, like I said before, your your orientation uh situation? What, it was, was simple, man. It was me. Okay, it was me and it was me and my team driver 
they had because I didn't have anybody to bring in. Mm-hmm. So they put me with this young man. Shout out to Andrew and his wife because his wife is now working with the company. Okay. Um, and I had selected the route that goes from uh, Bloomington, California, all the way to uh, uh, Monroe Township, New Jersey. Okay, so you so, could choose. You could choose the routes you wanna you you wanna run with them. Yeah, if they if they're available. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. And so I chose that route, but. Andrew, he chose the uh, Greenwood, Indiana route. Now, mind you, all of these routes go to a facility. This is dedicated. It don't it don't go in behind some little barn in the woods somewhere. You go to a full size facility. You back in the in the inboard side, mm-hmm. and then if you need to, you you leave that trailer there. You get an empty. You put it, or the yard hospital put it in the door for you. You get up under it. They fill it. And then you go back to where you come from. Oh, okay. So, so, this, so this is like a back and forth daily type deal. Back and forth, drop and hook. I, le- I I just left this morning. You know, we got we were a little behind for whatever reason. They didn't really tell us. Usually we try to leave between 12 and 2. Mm-hmm. Today we left at like 4. Uh, and we should arrive in, we should arrive in New Jersey. Let's see, probably in, on the 4th sometime. Right. What's what's the what's their drug their drug test for pre employment screening? Well, just a P test. We didn't do a follicle. Okay, okay. Do you think do you think in the future Pitney Bowles might go the hair follicle way? You think? I think I think that if they start getting people that fail, that might be an option. I mean, I don't obviously I'm not sitting on the board, I'm in this truck. But yeah, anything anything is possible. Because see, uh, Pitney Bowles is an old company. Pitney Bowles has been around for over a hundred years in right. the in the male industry. The male you know, industry. dealing with dealing with meters and all, and metering of mail and all that other kind of stuff. But they're in their they're in their fledgling state when it comes to trucking. I mean, they've they've only been doing this three years. Yeah, they they the name Pitney Bowles de, uh, derived from uh, from Pony Express. If people, if, right. if people uh, should remember how to what, how how it was in the restaurants, where you know the the mailman would be on a you know on ponies and delivering people's uh, mail throughout the you know the, throughout the restaurant state. So that's that's where the name Pitney Bowles derived from. Um, all right. So continuing on with uh, the orientation, you say yours. Uh, was a little bit longer, but what's the average? Uh, what's the average length from the time? Uh, you oh talk- no, not the not the orientation, just the importing process. We it was what I think it was three days, and what? it was just me and my co, and it was just me and my co-driver. We were sitting and talking to uh, Mr. Ruiz, and then there's another gentleman that he did his portion of the class that dealt with our benefits, mm-hmm. and then next thing you know, they handed us the keys to the truck. All right. So, did do you have to come in with a team driver or no? You you can you can uh-uh. come in solo, right? You can come in solo, but right now, due to our need for drivers, they they you, want teams. One that you feel comfortable being in the truck with for no more than four days, five days tops, mm-hmm. then bring them because that that'll make your process not be so bad. Because what'll happen if you don't have anybody and there's nobody. You're doing local work. Oh, okay. okay. You know. All right. Yeah. So this, so of course, this is a sleeper that you guys are in, though, right? I mean. Oh yes, most definitely. <laughs> but Pitney Bowls don't do, do. they have day? Well, I'm assuming they do have day cabs if they if yeah, they're doing. Yeah, we got. Well, they got. They got day cabs. They have uh, straight trucks as well. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what's up, man. What about uh? What about cameras in their in their trucks? Is there any uh? Uh, yeah, well, see, our our trucks are leased through Penske, so this is it's part of the system. They got the forward facing camera; it does face backwards, but we all put tape on it. You know, they know we got the tape on it. Oh, okay. They're not okay. worried about they're they're not worried about looking at us. They want to make sure that that four wheeler that cuts us off ain't trying to say we hit them. You know. Now, Lawrence, man, you know, for for a driver that only been with a company for as for as short time as you. You know, you know, you, you 
you know, you might get some pushback on on saying that, you know, this is one of the best companies that you work for, yada, yada, yada. And then all of a sudden you're going to come back and say, oh, man, this is one of the shittiest companies and all like that. Uh, why why are you, you know, giving giving Pitney Bowles uh, the praise that you're giving them for for being there for a short period of time? Well, I mean, this is kind of like any relationship. It's like a marriage. When you marry your spouse, you in love and all this other kind of stuff don't mean you're going to be that way 30 years later. But for now, this is it's a great job. It's like it's laid back for this. But I will say, since they're so new and as people come in and they come in with their habits and all this other stuff, it, we're even already starting to see that, you know, with our safety program is being beefed up to make sure that the drivers are staying safe, being safe, executing safety at all, at all times. Because obviously, you know, safety is what runs any company mm-hmm. when it comes to trucking. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but for right now, man, like I said, I don't have the headaches. I don't hardly talk to these people. They, I don't have, since this is uh, internal, I don't have a dispatcher saying you need to hurry up and get there and all this other kind of stuff. Right. And I will say, you know, I'm not. I'm not here just for just for, uh, you know, kicks and giggles. I'm here to make money, and my and my pay my pay schedule is ninety two thousand dollars a year, and it's whoa, and whoa, it's, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I was about to ask you that. I was about to ask you that, bro. Now you've been in the ga- Now, of course, you've been in the game for for a little minute. So, of course, your experience is a little bit more vast than than these new drivers out here. Now, we we know that. That you that you garnered ninety two, you know, close to a hundred. But what? But for a new driver that's coming in, and I'm I'm thinking Pitney Bowles. Uh, what's what's the criteria for for drivers that's coming in? Is it a year, two years, straight out, right of, straight now, out of school? What? For right now, we for right now is twelve months of verifiable, clean work history. All right, now for them coming in with with a year. How much everybody's they, making the everybody's making the same money, bro? No, they not. No, they everybody's not, making the same money, bro. No, everybody's they, making the same money, bro. No, bro not. everybody is making. <laughs> so, so uh, everybody's bro, making you, the same money. So a person that got so a person with a with five sits. I'm I'm saying five is the gold standard. So uh, somebody with five years is coming in making the you know making the ninety two. And a person with uh with a year, he coming in making ninety two too. That's what you everybody's say? making. They if a person in the in the jump seat is got five years, a person in the driver's seat got a year. They making the same money, bro. Ah oh, man, I don't know. I some people might feel some kind of way about that, bro. I mean, well, I mean, then don't work here. <laughs> that's real, that's simple. Let me let's I'm, keep it simple. I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, I, I, I hey, 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 90, so, shit, so I'm, let me, I'm so, good with, so let me I'm fuel, good with that. Well, let me, let me fuel the fire even more. Okay. That since we're having such a, since we're having such a hard time finding drivers, right. there's a rumor, and again, I will preface by saying this is a rumor, that they're even thinking of taking truck graduate, trucking school graduates, and may, but see, but that's going to be a, that's got to be a process because then you've got to get certain drivers to certified to be able to be able to train once they finish this school, you know, and are they going to pay them something extra in addition to salary? Cause my 92 is salary. So, you know, when I first came in, like I said, I had some issues with my license mm-hmm. and I couldn't drive at all, but they still paid me. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's and, what's up. And then even when I was with the young man going to, uh, with uh, Andrew going to uh, Green the Greenwood facility in Indiana, mm-hmm. his pay schedule is eighty thousand, but they still paid me on my ninety two thousand schedule. Now, will they continue to do that? I don't know, but they get they paid me. So, so well, for a lot of drivers, a lot of a lot of drivers that talk about their companies, they always talk about the gross. What's your what's your average net since you just said that you was on salary? What's your what's your average net a week? After taxes, well, you know, again, this is California, so my taxes is kind of high. Mm-hmm. 
but I can come out of there probably about what twenty? What is that? About twenty five, twenty nine, somewhere in there. Wait, wait, depending wait, on what? what kind of deductions? Oh, hold up, hold up. After after taxes? Yeah. So you 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 coming out of there with about twenty five hundred after taxes? Yeah. After every, taxes? It's every two weeks. Bro- oh what what? Oh y'all get paid every two weeks? Yeah, we get paid oh, every two weeks. Oh okay 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 because I'm over here listening. I'm over here like. This sounds like every week. Now, uh, it's now, see here, here we go with the pushback, man. Um, uh, I don't think I'm. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, you know, ninety-two getting paid every two weeks. I, I guess I'm gonna have to get well, used play, to that. Well, put it this way: you get get the gross. Like, okay, if you just if you if you add or if, if you do the math, uh-huh. and you do uh, what ninety-two thousand divided into twenty-six weeks. Okay. That comes to about thirty five. What is it? Thirty five, forty eight, ninety six, something like that. Okay. You know, and then and then of course you know, I'm t- I'm giving you with like my child support, all that kind of stuff, right. taxes, whatever, right. whatever. Right. So, but yeah. So, and then you know you got your insurance benefits. And another great thing about this company is your benefits. Like if you got high, like say if you say if you got hired on the fifteenth of last month, okay. your benefits would have kicked in yesterday. Oh, that mean that that means your benefits kick in with day one that's another thing too man uh that a lot of these drivers is coming in you know they looking for money miles and home time but they 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 not looking at the benefits what some of these companies offer man exactly and some of these look, comp- some, I- oh, some of these companies be offering some garbage ass benefits 